Thus far, it has been all Danny Brown in the green. Attempted jump knee to the body of Millis by Brent. Millis has yet to turn a punch over in this fight. He really does, Phil. He hasn't really, you know, uh, gone to the well. He's been content just trying to wait right. him off with just really uh, pitter pat type of punches. And that's not going to be enough to stop the young Danny Brent from, from really coming in. There you go, the round, round kick to the rib cage again of Grant. The Millis. Jab hook from Grant. Finally, you see Millis throw a, a right thigh kick. I'd like to see, you know, Danny Grant uh, head paint a little more. So it would really open up the shot that he's trying to land with the right hand or the left hook. A little more movement. Well, the IKKC Western Junior Middleweight Muay Thai Championship. Both fighters busy here throughout these first three rounds. Scheduled to go five. Want to know something interesting about that young man in the green, Blinky? He never washes his hand wraps. Wow, I don't want to be in that locker room when he takes them off. Exactly. I was going to say, all I can say is P.U. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, I'll never forget that fight uh, he fought against William Shriapai, the favored Shriapai. He knocked him out with a shot to the head, a good right leg. And you know, that is exactly what he does. And, and, and he's kind of, I'm sure, trying to look his opponent Millicent to that tonight where he goes low with the kicks to the legs and then later on in the fight he comes up high. There he came up high with the right leg bro. and that's how he tries to set you up. The long get a sleep going down low and then he'll throw one wicked shot up high. And he tried to land that big right roundhouse kick to the head of Millicent. Stop, stop. Ray down, two up here. Great third round and once again Danny Brandt excelled Brand. in that third round. Now. You listening? You listening? You get the fucking work here, boy. You get the work here. You start throwing one punch at a time, you deserve the lose. Next time you do that, come back to the corner, ain't nobody gonna be here. You throw two, three punches and you kick with power. You throw one power kick, you got hundreds of them here. Now, are you awake? Well, Danny awake? Brand, we've talked about his now? greatest strength. We talked to him now? last night about right? if he had an advantage pushing. tonight, what would it be? Well, my strongest quality as a fighter is kicking. My kicking ability, I kick like a mule, so that's definitely one of my advantages. But uh, I need to put my hands and knees and kick combinations together to follow through for a win. Well, he talked about that kick, and we have seen it throughout these first three rounds, but I'll tell you, it's still not good enough for Master Bob Carmel of Chino, California, who's working that corner. He is imploring Danny Brandt to get busy. Good more combinations, Phil. As you see right here, here goes that big right roundhouse kick, and he throws it with power. It really grazed off the shoulder, and Sullivan's so, so tries, you see, to, to counter, but it's not effective as he's got a welt right under his right rib cage where that big right leg of Danny Brandt has been landing. There's Danny Brandt, who incidentally, his three-year-old Kiana back in Glendale, Arizona, is having a birthday party tonight without Dad home. So Kiana, happy birthday from Daddy Danny Brandt. Oh, he begged us to do that. Absolutely. And happy birthday, young lady. Now Steve Millis, uh, Edge Brown working his corner. I'll tell you what, you think uh, Danny Brandt was implored to get busy uh, for the last minute and a half. Uh, Edge Brown has been all over his fighter, Steve Millis. Incidentally, these are three-minute rounds with two-minute breaks, which is traditional in Muay Thai fighting. There were two-minute breaks. Brandt in the green, Millis in the black and silver. That kick just buckled the knee of Brandt, and he went down with a bit of a wince. Good left hook by Brandt, Phil. Oh, big overhand right. Let's see Brandt turn that left hook over just a little more, Phil. Just rotate that shoulder a little more, and he'd have a lot more thrust and connect the shot with more authority. Here you see 
Millersville just trying to wait him back and constantly moving backwards, losing all the effects of his power because he's moving away from the punch. There he goes down low with a right leg to the thigh of Brant. And that, that left hook by Brant, when you see right, him stop, winging stop. it, it's more like an arm punch. Yeah, he's got to turn that Fight. shoulder over. That right hand off the top of the head of Millis again. We're in the fourth round. These junior middles are scheduled to go five. Two punch combination. But Danny Grant comes right back and he's handing that right hand. So he's found a, a real hold for that right hand over the top. Okay, break, break. Don't do that again. Cecil Peoples telling Danny Brandt, don't deliver that elbow again. Elbows not allowed in this particular Muay Thai fight. In our main event, they will be allowed. And once again, Danny Brandt just waiting in. Look, good one. That, that got his attention, so. And Brandt tried to come back with that right leg to the head. It was a little shy. I come right back with it again, bro. Right over the top. Boy, Millis really dropping that left arm. That was the best right hand of the night. Left hook inside leg kick by Brandt. Brandt is walking him down, bro. And nothing on that right hand that we heard about from Millis. Blanky, I don't think Danny Brandt has taken a step back since this fight started. We might have to change his name to Tractor, Phil. I'm telling he you. He keeps coming. Now he's working up and down. So now Danny Brandt is going laid body head. And I gotta tell you, Phil, Millis is looking the worst for wear. He is very tired. He is exhausted. He's from Detroit, Michigan, now fighting out of New York City. Edge Brown asking if he can do it, if he can do it. Well, Millis, his best blow of the fight came early in that fourth round, and it was a kick right there. Right to the thigh. Just took the leg right off from underneath Danny Brandt. It was a good shot there with the right leg. But after that, you see Brandt coming on the attack with that left hook right hand, right back down to the thigh, and then back up to the top again. Brandt really going high. Good. There's that right hand, because that was the best right hand of the night. That really, really hurt that real man deep, right there. Real deep. Steve real, Millis. Real deep. Okay, not send him back, not got to win. You got to send him around. He's landing those shots. You can now do his it. manager okay. is asking him, have you got be. one more okay. round in you? Okay. I'm, I'm thinking Millis is wondering if he has it himself. And they're, right. and they're also right. telling him that he's got That's to right. knock him out to say. win. Telling him, if you don't knock him out, you're not going to win. And I'd be all over him like a bum on a bologna sandwich, Phil. I wouldn't be that passive. I mean, I'll tell you, I'd be doing everything I could to exhort this young man right. to just get out there breathe, and just do some damage, at least one round. Okay. Now Steve Millis is married. His wife is uh, Chinese. They met at the dojo in New York. Her, her name is Mihan. She's watching tonight from New York. And they've got their first baby boy on the way, due in November. So, Steve Millis, okay. congratulations. Well, I believe uh, this capacity crowd here at uh, the Santa Ana Star Casino just outside Albuquerque knows the same thing you and I know, knows the same thing that uh, Danny Brandt knows, and that is he needs a knockout to win. If Millis doesn't get the KO, this will go as a decision for Danny Brandt. And they will go as a unanimous decision. Absolutely. Fifth and final round. Three minutes left. Brandt looking to finish strong here in this fifth round. Millis, I think that Blinky is in a survival mode. Yes, he is, Phil. And he just got caught with a tremendous right leg to the body again. There you see Danny Brandt trying to come high. And, he, and 
that that is a pattern that he sets going into the rounds, Phil, where he'll go body, body, legs, and then he'll start trying to come high with the legs. And I'll tell you, with the reach that Millis has, he should have been popping that jab in Danny Grant's face all night to set up that right hand that he's known for. But tonight, that right hand didn't come with him, Phil. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's never shown me the ability to throw any, anything with bad intentions. Well, we're in the corner of a Danny Brandt right now. One of his handlers has a headset on. And tell us, is Danny Brandt fighting the fight you hoped he would? Yeah, he's fighting very good right now. We, we, uh, we're expecting him to go a little bit harder, a little bit faster, but I guess he's just going to save the best for last. At the end of round three, you were in his face telling him he's got to deliver more combinations. He's got to kick with power. Are you, generally speaking, satisfied with this effort against Millis? Uh, we think he could do a little bit better. And there's Blinky. Were you really looking for him to take uh, Millis out? Were you, were you con uh, convinced that he could knock him out? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. He kicks like a mule, and he should be able to kick that rib cage and take him out. He's well, landed some great shots to the body. Yeah, definitely. Well, he's only a minute and 20 seconds away from notching his seventh win as a professional. Nice Danny Brandt is on the offensive. Nice little short hook. There it is again. He needs to come back with the right hand now. Left hook, right hand, and give him a lot of leverage on the right hand. Punching off that left hook. But he's just throwing one punch at a time. I know his corner was exhorting him, Phil, to throw combinations. Boy, Millis just blinking his eyes as wide as he possibly can. Millis is uh, just about one good leg shot or a good punch away from uh, being stopped. There goes that right leg to the hip, but I'd like to see him set that right leg up, Phil, with either a jab or lead with a right hand and then come back with the right leg to set it up because just throwing it by himself, Mill Millis has been able to, to catch it off his shoulder in the gloves. Step back. Step back. Fight. Fight. Well, Millis really exhausted. If Danny has anything to do with body shot, that body shot really, really caught Pedro and Phil. Caught him right probably on the floating rib, and that took him down. Final five seconds. Standing eight count in effect, and Cecil Peoples is utilizing it. Wait. Good left Get off hand by Brandt. Get off his head. Get off his head. All right, stop. It's over. What a fight, Danny Brandt. And I got to believe if you were to talk to Steve Millis right now, he'd tell you, I'm disappointed in myself. Oh, no question, but he's disappointed because to that young man right there, Danny Brandt, took it to him. Put the pressure on him. Phil never gave him a chance to get in the fight. The, uh, all them right legs to the rib cage also added to that final left hand of the body that Danny Brandt caught him with, Phil, because it took its toll. He would have kept going downstairs. He might have been able to finish. Well, Danny told us last night at the weigh-in that the key to his victory tonight would be to stay very, very busy every round, and he did just that. Just right there, there's that big left hand to the body. Nice body shot. Steve Millis takes that knee immediately. Here he comes again. He's waiting in. He leans right over and just turns that body shot with the left hand right over, and their semi-delay reaction, you see Steve Millis just take that eight count. Yeah, he took a pretty good uh, left hook to the body, and as he was backing up, his body just said, can't take any more. Went down on a knee, the end uh, of five rounds. You've got to believe the IKKC Western Junior Middleweight Muay Thai Championship will belong to Danny Brandt. He kicked like a mule, and for five rounds, he kicked with both legs like a mule. He lived up to his advanced billing. He did, Phil, but I think his corner is going to take him back to the drawing board when they get him in the gym. He didn't put the, the type of combinations that they wanted him, they exhorted from him. It's a great win. I mean, he was going in with a 7-1, and one, excuse me, 6-1 and one record. Now he's 7-1. and one. He's just picking up that experience. So he's just a tremendous young prospect. Well, the fighters are coming to the center of the ring. Let's go to Chris Gregory. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. All judges score the bout 50-44 in favor for the winner. By unanimous decision, in the red corner, Danny Brent. Presenting the belt is Dennis Warner. 
Danny Brand wins it by unanimous decision. And wrapping the belt firmly around.